वेलकम टू एपिसोड 56 ऑफ न्यू इंडियन वुमन पॉडकास्ट एयरिंग फर्स्ट इन लेट डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी एंड आई एम योर होस्ट कृष्णा टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट चेकलिस्ट सो वॉट आर चेकलिस बिफोर इवन आई स्टार्ट ऑन दैट लेट मी शेयर समथिंग वेन आई स्टार्टेड माई जर्नी इन द आई टी इंडस्ट्री एज अ प्रोग्रामर जस्ट ऑल दो ईयर्स बैक we simply sat and wrote code as per inputs from some senior people in the team over the years we came across a simple sheet that was given to us every time we finished our code and tested and etc and before sending the software to the customer we had to fill up this sheet it had some 8 to 10 questions only if we had completed all the steps in that sheet we were allowed to send the software to the customer initially we felt someone was interfering and questioning our ability didn't we know these steps already but then we had to follow and over a period of time we realized how this was powerful did this sheet ensure there were no bugs reported by the customer definitely not but every time we goofed up we examined as a team what went wrong and more often than not we realized maybe we should add one or more steps in this one page sheet and this sheet continued to be a pain on good days when a release went as per plan but it really became a savior on those emergency kind of days actually nights when we were all staying back doing night outs to ensure a complex software release when we were all frustrated and tired and our brains and our memory were not the sharpest then a thought occurred to me on why not try this in my personal or home context these were the days before the internet and it was not possible to find out if such practices existed elsewhere i tried it and found it very effective and later on post the google era i realized many productivity gurus talk about this in various contexts and that is because checklist is a very simple tool there is no rocket science involved in figuring out using of checklist and the benefits of that what is a checklist how is it different from a list we are all familiar with lists lists of items to buy list of things to do or a to do list a special type of list that you can use again and again that is what a checklist is it is not an ordinary list but something which you can repeat it is used in a lot of fields right from construction to shipping to medical and what not here in this episode we are looking at checklist in the context of our life more precisely to simplify our life so that we are more relaxed about things we need to do often and we are more focused on our priority tasks when we are doing something for the very first time we may spend a lot of time in making sure we think through that identify the various steps required to complete it now if we create a checklist of the same we need not spend this time thinking again when we have to do the same task later checklist will ensure you don't forget any of the important steps you can refer to the same list and check off points one by one this is not something new most of you would have used some form of checklist or the other you may have not known it is called a checklist for example a standard list of provisions or groceries required for the house the list of documents you need to submit while applying for a passport or an exam or college admission today i would like to share with you what all scenarios i have used checklist for and maybe we could even explore other possible areas where you could use checklist first let us look at travel now there are different types of travel and most often we will all remember to pack the most obvious items when it comes to some other details we may tend to forget some of them for example you may prefer to carry a flask or an electric kettle especially while traveling with family or maybe even a mosquito repellent or some kind of home remedy for acidity or even a few empty plastic bags that may help in some situations and when do we remember these 
when we are at the place we have traveled we have reached somewhere suddenly we feel oh i wish i had brought this so in such a case having a checklist where you have the list of the preferred items that you like to take if you have it ready it is definitely going to help you now when it comes to a standard checklist for travel see there is this primary benefit of not forgetting and tension free packing but apart from that there is an indirect advantage as well you could ask someone else especially your older children to pack a certain category of items maybe toiletries maybe some books maybe the gifts that you have bought whatever it is now when it comes to traveling with young kids that is a different ball game altogether right so you may want to have a checklist which contains a list of medicines or at least says medicines then you may want to carry washcloth or maybe you know some spare bag some toys something to keep them occupied these are very important and when it comes to children when they start going to hostel at least this is what we tried initially we had this checklist kept of what all they should take to the hostel and that was kept in such a way that they could easily refer it and within a few weeks they got used to it and then the checklist was no longer required the travel checklist when somebody travels abroad especially when frequent travels abroad for office trips etc is required that comes with a different kind of uh, food requirements packaged food and things like that or even winter clothes or whatever is suited for that weather so here again having a list or checklist of items to take comes in very handy we briefly discussed the grocery or provision list before this online shopping became the rage some of you may recollect that some grocery shops used to print and give these kind of lists they were very useful actually and i always loved it right now for me this checklist is more like a standard list available in google sheet for me another area where i use checklists it's for financial review doing a financial review is a very difficult task for me and the number of steps i have to do i keep forgetting and hence i have this as a ready reference similarly income tax filing i dread that time of the year where i have to provide all kinds of inputs and i always tend to forget what all i need to share and here again i use a standard checklist now we will move on to another category i do not know whether it can be called a checklist this helps in terms of uh, my memory in a different way these are the recurring to do items some items you may have to keep on doing every month or maybe every quarter there is some kind of a periodicity it is not something where it is date based where you can put in a reminder so broadly you want to do say for example health checkup every once in two years you want to do things like that how i manage is i have a one page list of what is required to be done in which month so this will include buying gifts for specific birthdays festivals health checkup like we discussed servicing of appliances in the house and even laptop and phone maintenance my personal google storage optimization because invariably when you were trying to download something when you need it the most some of these things act up so i don't want to be in that situation so the range of things which are present in this one page list of mine it will have on the one end festivals gifts and health checkup and at the other end it will have some things like okay deworming to be done once in a year at least for the family members so that kind of a thing so it helps me so every month when i look at okay is there something that i have to do this month it helps me immensely similarly i have a cleaning checklist for not the typical one so see it is very important for us to balance and figure out for what is routine what you do daily you may not need a checklist obviously but the not so typical ones which have to get repeated that is where checklists are most beneficial so for me the cleaning checklist is for the not typical kind of cleanings again i use a one page list of what is to be done approximately by when and this is aligned with 
when i take holidays when there is a seasonal changes etc so for example cleaning of the water tank airing of mattresses silk sarees harvesting of compost washing of curtains hard water removal in washing machine and things like this some of these it's good to do some of them if you don't do there are some consequences it helps me i refer to them still as a checklist because i don't have to keep track of them and now let me move on to not these reminder kind of checklist the real real checklist which is the steps that i have to do when i perform a particular operation so let me take the example of my phone mobile phone where every now and then the phone storage is going to be full the phone will be very slow so as part of a recurring to do item i know once a quarter at least i should clean up my phone so but how do i clean up the steps to do i am not going to figure out search in the net every time for my model of phone what i have to do is fairly standard i have that list kept somewhere as a checklist every time i have to clear my phone i just open okay fine go to go to these settings go do these 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 steps it makes it simpler similarly for the google storage limit that i was talking about or laptop maintenance because sometimes the laptops really become slow and then you realize you have to do this or you have to uninstall this or you have to stop this service i don't want to keep track of them and i don't want to spend time every time googling for such things another area is taking backups of my laptop what all i need to backup i am fairly clear these are the folders i will take backup these are the folders where important things are so that every time i want to take a backup i do not want to oh where are the folders which i need to backup no it's very clear these are the places where i will store and this is what backup i need the other kind of checklist is something i have referred to one of the earlier episodes which is checklist of items which are available in the house but which are rarely accessed places which are available in some rarely accessed places like some items on the loft etc i write them on a paper pin it behind the door use post it notes stick them to the boxes where i have kept stuff that is required very rarely for example certificates old medical files and stuff like that i still consider some of these lists as checklists because at the onset of winter or even before any travel we refer to this sheet of paper to figure out oh which bags i need this is the loft where these bags are kept or this is the bag in which i have kept my so and so blanket it helps all of us immensely now let me come to the most frequently used checklist of mine this is my weekly review checklist and similarly i have monthly quarterly and yearly review checklist i am a big fan of doing these reviews both in the personal and work context i use a checklist for this review this helps me look at all the ideas and to do items that i have captured in my tool they are all there the to do items are all there then there are these focus areas of my life my priorities my goals so i need to look at both of these categories of items and i need to balance these i don't want to give too much importance to goals or miss out on the regular to do items at the same time i do not want to get focused too much on the to do items and miss out on the goals so i have a review checklist i know if i do not use a checklist i will miss one aspect or the other and then it becomes a mess all over again and over time based on me reading articles in this area this area of productivity how to do reviews how to be more efficient etc i have been able to include many many suggestions from experts into some of my checklists for example i have a few things that i would like to spend time doing these are not i have to do kind of things but i would love to do i have put them in my weekly checklist it's a good reminder for me to see them remember it brings me joy and hence to make sure i find time for that otherwise i am likely to say i wish i had time to do this so i'm using this checklist more as a tool to help me make sure i find time and i am able to prioritize some things which i really would like to do for example when i started doing this podcast what i had to do i would think over spend time on it 
and note down okay i have to do this i have to send a mail to so and so person before recording i have to make sure i have all these things up and configured etc etc but over some time i have figured out every episode requires these number of steps right from identifying the topic to publishing the content designing the posters and putting out the same to all of you these are now part of a standard checklist against each episode in the work context i have the same for standard reviews with my team and for regular meetings for specific focus areas and that helps me a lot these are just a few examples of the use of checklists in my life what would it be for you are you someone who travels frequently then apart from the packing list you may even create a checklist before locking up the house and leaving for the trip the checklist may have just five points including if the spare key has been given to a friend if you have made arrangements for your vehicle etc you may want to help your children by creating some checklist for them it's a very good habit to develop if you are someone who organizes parties your kids birthday party or get togethers you could create one for that all of us in our lives have a set of tasks we repeat maybe very often or infrequently it's important that we are able to focus on what we have to do without fretting over did i forget to do this or i did i forget to do that checklist is a very simple and humble tool for this still not convinced check out the book checklist manifesto by dr atul gawande he is a doctor as an a physician and he came out with this book about the use of checklists especially in the medical field he examines the power of checklists in organizing and managing complex processes in his role as a surgeon he talks about how the checklist ensures the surgeon doesn't miss an important step while performing surgery he talks about his own interest in checklists getting triggered by one incident where a child survived a fall into a frozen pond and the physician who saved the child relied on checklists and that being a key differentiator and then dr atul gawande went about examining this approach in other fields and in hospitals across the world it's a very interesting read now where do you keep all these checklists that's also very important i use microsoft onenote for most of my checklists you could use google sheets or google keep i also use paper based checklists the important point is that the checklist for a purpose should be available in the context of what you are doing if you are talking about a checklist for a child packing up for the hostel it would be a simple post it note next to where the packing usually happens similarly a checklist for the frequent traveler while locking up the house would be another note pin next to where the house key is kept it doesn't help if you get inspired by this episode and create checklists and keep them somewhere and you forget about it another important thing about checklists is like so many other things in life even this requires maintenance but of an easy kind let us take the travel checklist for example suppose you create the checklist and then during your next travel you realize you forgot to carry the mosquito repellent or an important medicine so that particular situation you may have to handle but you should also remember to note it and as soon as you come back you should update your checklist to make sure this particular item is added so that the learning from this experience is never forgotten and you are benefited anyway it is up to each of us to find out what process will work best for us and more importantly how to adapt a process for ourselves i hope this episode on checklist is something you will adapt for your context if you are using checklist for other purposes please do share with me and i will be happy to share the same with all new indian women podcast listeners yes let us converse around this in our facebook page or write to me at krishna at the new indian woman dot com thank you remember you are what you want to be and the time starts now